dad's birthday is November the 4th. Mm. He died on my first birthday, right? right so right. 50 Cent called me that day like, yeah, I had to call you myself and let you know you got the role. Shut the f up, 50. I never met 50 before mm -hmm. this. <laughs> Shut the f up, 50. You know I'm about to f it up, right? So like when I just made Back on Dexter, mm -hmm. I, I got the um, the urge to get back in this one bag of like talking. Yeah. All smoke. So I make music for me and women like me. Right. And people that understand me. I feel like relationships in the media is like dog years. So we damn near been together for 21 years. Is that a lot to And you? dog years. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Even you the one much. who just said that. You play too much. <laughs> Appreciate you for tuning in in this episode of Funky Friday. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this. And if you're feeling really funky, leave a comment. Enjoy the show. Yo, what's good? What's popping? What it is, what it ain't, what it could be, what it should be, what it would be. Here with another episode of Funky Friday. Cam Newton the sum, Mr. Boogie the all. And I'm here to give good content for the masses, but promise to always keep it funky for your asses. Today we're in for a treat because we have a musical artist, an actress, and a new mom on the show today. Cash Doll! What up, though? What up, though? What's good with it? <laughs> What's happening? How you thugging? I'm good. I'm living. Straight? Yeah. I got a list of questions that I'm going to, you know, riddle off. You feel me? But Is it crazy? It ain't. It ain't. We go, it's my job to bring out a different Cash Doll that most people ain't never seen or even witnessed, you dig what I'm saying? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be therapeutic. Okay, now. Nah. Y'all you know got some more of this? A lot of it. I'm, okay. Good. You want the bottom? We can switch we it for, We in for a treat. My first question is this, all right? Like for you, black queen, right? You've been in the industry for a minute and you've seen the dynamic of social media and really, a person of your status, the foundation of youth is key, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You've been opening about how old you are. Not most women are, mm -hmm. right? Like, how has that been like a, a cornerstone of your growth? <laughs> I've never been how open I am about my age. <laughs> it's but, still a question. And gonna, I love it there. Are yeah. we going... Tell people. <laughs> you know why yeah. I'm making the thing? But like, let me tell you why I'm making the okay. thing. They started it with me, Cam. Okay. I was minding my own business mm -hmm. that God gave me. It always happened like and that. And here they come, I'm talking about son. This and that, and that, she old, this and that. So when they start saying I was old, I said, well, I'm going to let y'all figure it out. So I never told them. And because it's not their business. Because first of all, if y'all would have mind y'all business, I would have just told y'all. But second of all, y'all want to put an age on me? Now I'm going to let y'all wonder. And I think it's a joke. That finger going to get you in trouble. I ain't did nothing to you. <laughs> I don't appreciate those threats. Anytime, like, I'm going I'm to I'm put y'all on something. Culturally, if a black woman start pointing the her finger, finger at you. It's on the floor. It's, it's, it's on everything. <laughs> I don't respect that. I don't, I don't, not respect, I don't appreciate that. Cause, Cause like that right there, when yeah, she come and then she get nose and nose, then she sit up yeah, and then, then you like, go, boom. You lean in too, the lean in. It's all that, Yeah. you know what I mean? But even, even to that, you know, it's like, you've been who you are, right? Um, and just the, the narrative of that, is it important? Is it not important? Do you find humor in it? Is it something that you want to protect? Why? I find humor in it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, it's not really a secret. Right. It was just not their business when they like tried to offend me with it. So mm -hmm. now it's like, okay, y'all can have that. Now I'll never expose it. Cause I always play on every birthday and say I'm 21. Uh -huh. But that's what everybody does. And now they're like, she's a liar. She's saying she's 21. It was like a uh, duh. Yeah. So now it just I find humor in it because now they like run over all social media, yeah. looking on my mom Facebook and no. just trying to it's an investigation. And I just want to see may the best player win. Say less. Has anybody <laughs> ever got it right? Yeah, they have. Okay. And I told them they got it right, but they didn't even want to believe that. Say less. Now I'm from <laughs> obviously Atlanta, Georgia, the uh strip club mecca of the world. 
And I can't tell you how many times I done went into a strip club and I done seen numerous like times their age never changes. It's like, yeah, what's going on? How old you is? Oh, I'm 27. <laughs> That's a good age, 27, 28. 27, like yeah. 31, you kind of pushing, pushing it. It's like, it. why are you still in why? here? <laughs> we need to control all the lead and get out of here. But women like to do that stuff though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know what? I think that's a stepping stone though. After a certain age, I don't think you should be in there. Would you say, and I always would say this, a woman stripping or dancing, exotic dancing, mm -hmm. is the equivalent for a man selling drugs. It is. It's just that it's you could you don't you're not gonna go to jail for doing it. <laughs> mm. Right? But you know, it's fast money. It's fast money. You know, but that's I see in that in, yeah. in that task, yes, it is. It's like it's fast money. You use it for what it is and you get out of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I did it for a year. I did it. Okay. Back in 2012, 13, right before I start rapping, that's what I did for a year. I'm like, and that's what gave me the confidence that I have. You yeah. know? Um, and I just got in and I just knew this wasn't what I wanted to do for real. But I wanted, like, I had friends older than me, and they was making this crazy money. They mm. got apartments. I still stay with my mom. Mm. They have apartments and little cute dogs and Jeep trucks, and I don't have. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, man, they got guys sending them flowers, mm. and I'm like, I want to live like I that. Want that. Yeah. Turn up. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. Even though before that, I had all type of jobs. Mm. You know, I worked at Best Buy, Better Made Chip Factory. You was a geek. Island. I was, yeah, in the TV section. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll tell you everything about a 1080p. So, oh, i go there with you with the TVs. <laughs> 5K, yeah. 4K, all that. Yeah. So um, I used to work. I used to have hella jobs. Mm -hmm. And it was like, man, make us $700 every two weeks Ain't to it. make $700 a day. You know, I'm like, man, if I keep doing this. dollars off one song. What? Oh, now, and then, no, that was just dancing. I'm talking about now it's different. $700 yeah. is like kind of like, that's where I tip. That's candy money. Yeah, like, but I'm grateful for yeah. the come up for sure. But dancing really like groomed me for rapping. Yeah. It's, it's, if you, it's you understand what I'm saying, like, as far as the confidence, yeah. as far as like, this is who I am and just accept it. Like, and you know, with girl rap, you know, um, you know, we got to be sexy. And it's like, it gave me that. Mm -hmm. Like that vibe. That provocative. That it gave me that, you yeah. know, and I needed that year. It was like, I, I just feel like God just knew what he was doing with me, man. He did. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that women should be doing it after a certain time. But they do. I don't knock it. You feel me? I, I think the Probably man- Probably as long as you still look good. Yeah, the man that, that I am now, that. I love a seasoned mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. And I'm mature enough to, enough now to be able to have woman companions respecting, obviously, my situation. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just can't communicate with a young-minded person, it's, whether you're a male or a female. And if you're still thinking about, you know, how is this relationship, I mean, a situation going to benefit me? What you going to buy me? This, that, and the third. How much I can get out of him? Like, baby, I'm not for you. You're not getting nothing. Just yeah. off of trying to get something. That's your first conversation. Take, take, take me here, though. Like, you've, you've been with, with Tracy mm -hmm. for a minute. Yeah, a few years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a minute, like, I feel like relationships... In the media, is like dog years. Facts, because it's so easy to break them. Oh, my goodness. It's so easy to break them. So we damn near been together for 21 years. Is that a lot too? And dog years. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you almost believe you me. You the one much. who just said that. You play too much. <laughs> so you got to stop with You the one that. who just said but that. But you be saying you be lying. You know that Detroit is just like coming out of you. You know what I mean? Finessing you the, the one who just said being in a relationship... It is. And the media is like... But how are you guys able to still... Like, you was on... Um, was it Love and Hip Hop? No. Nah. Was it that? BMF. Oh. Was you on any re reality TV? Mm-mm. I can't do that. Damn, I. Well, why? I'm in jail. Why? They be fighting and throwing drinks. I ain't with none of that. But it's for, it's for the consumer. I just can't. I just can't. They asked me a few times, Love and Hip Hop, a few times. I just... I can't. I just never... I just can't. How are you and, and Tracy able to, to keep y'all like core? Like, how y'all able to stay strong? It's real. Help me. 
It's man, y'all good. <laughs> y'all yeah, good. Yeah. Y'all both crazy. Like you know, <laughs> but in, in reality, you know, when you dating somebody in the in public, a public figure, two public figures dating, it's tough because everybody feel like you're supposed to always be on that time. Like we travel together, we do a lot of stuff together, you know. And she's really a part of my family now. So when we're out, it's like if I'm with the kids, like. Obviously, her and Zatima, and you know, she's a um, you know a person that's in the media. They want to take pictures with her. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, they all try to take pictures with me. But I got a, a line in the sand for me. If I'm with my kids, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not him. I'm I'm daddy. I'm a dad right now. I me? ain't really doing that right now. But yeah. for you and, and and obviously Tracy, like, what's y'all things that keep y'all above water? You know what I'm saying? That, I, like I that think the analogy. thing, the, like what, what keep y'all, you know, keep it interesting. spicy. Yeah, no, I don't like spicy either, cause spicy is just like the, that word where it's like, no, like keep us vibing. Vibing, that. Vibin', yeah. Vibin'. I think it's just that it's real. First off, mm -hmm. I think that we both, not outside of love, we like each other. Mm. We still like each other. Like we still get googly eyes and like. It's like we st still got this little child, little cute thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he still be excited to take me on dates. I be excited to get dressed for it. And like I think those things keep it going. And I don't know. I, it just happens. Right. It just two, works. Two musical artists. Have y'all ever thought about collabing on certain things? Yeah, we got songs that we just we. I just I just been. Tried, I tried to get my project out first after I had my child, mm -hmm. and it was like back on Dexter. It was back my roots. Mm -hmm. I was did a whole Detroit mixtape, right? So I can get back in my groove, and then I'm working on my album, and like then that. we got stuff that we gonna put together on there. Does he help you in this realm, or do you help him? How does that dynamic work? We help each other by like not making the music, mm -hmm. like so we 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 haven't really did that. He'll tell me some inputs because Tracy been doing it longer than me. Right. So he'll he he tell me some stuff like you should have probably said this or more than that or you should probably you know what I'm saying be a little more aggressive on there or something like that. But like um, as far as music, I, I don't I say I don't like that song or I like this song. I like when you rap like this. I like I can hear you like this. You I don't like when you talk that fast. And then he'll be like, well, I don't like when you say this and yeah. whatever. So if that helps, but we don't write each other stuff, you yeah. know. Um, but we help each other other ways in yeah. music. Like, like we we motivate each other, give each other ideas from videos. Yeah. I style them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I have fun. I'll go to the mall and pick out my whole thing, buy it, bring it back. Like this is what you should wear in this video. Yeah. And then he'll go and he'll bring back something from the mall. Like you should put this on with that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we like motivate each other and shit. Like it's that. fun. It is. It's fun. I think that in the fact that we both like genuinely just like each other. Yeah. Is it? I always say it's better than love because love you can love somebody and not like them. But when you, cause I I love my mom, but sometimes I don't like her. Ma. But <laughs> her mama ain't here, y'all. She ain't here, ma. Uh, Detroit people, this. they cry. Um, but you know. Okay. But when you just like somebody, is you like them. It's still there. It's I still hear there. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's the thing. So y'all recently just had a son. Yeah. How is that transition into like motherhood? Like, what's something that you didn't know, and something that like you found out over you know with this whole process? With having a baby? Yes. First off, you gotta fight for your bad is bad. Mm. Cause baby postpartum. Whew, you can fall into that and lose yourself. Like you can really, if you especially when you know people have babies and you and a mate not, you know, I could see how you can go deep into depression with that. Mm. I didn't want to do my nails. I didn't want to do my hair. My hair was matted. Um, I looked like crap. I used to wear pajamas all day. I was like, ah, whatever. It's all about my baby. But what kept, what snapped you out of it though? I just gotta be a bad. Say less. <laughs> I just can't not be that. Like it's like it's something in me that I was like, okay, get out of it. You know what I'm saying? You got this beautiful son. You know your man here. You got you got to get back on your. Is ground. there something from a? Cause I've I've went through it. You know. What postpartum? 
No, seeing it. Oh. Witnessing it. No, <laughs> we ain't that. But there's times where, like, as a man, how can you help your partner, you know, from a woman, mm -hmm. right? What are some things that Tracy did or, let's say, your guy friends or associates? Like, who was it that got you back in that groove? Because that's a real thing. I seen, oh, what was it? Kiki Palmer. She had just said, like, the reason why you see a lot of women that's in the industry snap back, because first off, that's their job. That's the job. They're like, And then you get people that try to make you, no, enjoy pregnancies, don't try to hurry up and run. No, I have to film BMF in February. I had mm. my son January the 6th. I have to be on camera to add 10 more pounds on you. Then I have to wait to be able to get in the gym. Mm. And t you got to wait six weeks to be able to get in the gym. So I basically got in the gym a week before I started filming. Mm. Oh, I got to figure this out. You figured it out. I figured it out. and it, But I'm a little chunky in season two, but you know what? I just had my baby. I'm, I'm not about to let this opportunity go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got back to work. And I think that it, it's a mental thing. And mental health is real. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm, I've, I've always been like a mental, strong person. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I'm strong in the mind. And I also had good support system around okay. me, like my mom, you know, Tracy, you know, um, like my assistant, my sisters, my friends, my best friend, mm. you know, because she been through it before. My best friend, that's my dog right yeah. there. And just talking to them and people that really genuinely love me and just giving me that motivation, like, no, nah, you're going to always be that. Don't let that, don't, don't feed into that, like staying off social media, comparison, mm -hmm. my body from when it used to be, just embracing where you at in life is important. Because I feel like people just be so busy trying to get to something else that they don't embrace where they're at. Mm -hmm. Like, and I had to embrace that. I have a home. I have a beautiful son. Mm -hmm. You know, I got it out the way. Right. Be happy. You done? You ain't pregnant anymore. I don't want to be. I want one more, but another whole, that's a sentence. I did a bid. Bid? <laughs> but that, see, that's the thing where I need you to help me at because, you know, a lot of dudes, because I didn't, I didn't know, you know, that that's a real thing, like postpartum depression. And I'm a very vocal person in a relationship. Like, okay. you bad as a mother. <laughs> Look at that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm that type of person. But even to the strongest mind, doubt creeps in. Of course. You know. I would and, never lie. And, and then no. going back and saying, like, damn, I used to be like this. But as a man, what's a cheat code to be able to say, like, what's some do's and don'ts going through a, a situation of postpartum that any dude can be like, this is how you're supposed to be with your woman? I feel like the do's is helping. Mm. Not acting like it's all the woman's job, you know, okay. like getting up with the baby, getting up in the middle of the night, fixing a bottle, um, changing diapers, like taking turns, like letting okay. me know you in this with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, still compliment me, still making me feel special. Like that Valentine's Day after I had my baby, he went out, he went all out. That made me feel good because I'm like, well, maybe he don't probably like me no more. Yeah, I'm all yeah, yeah. chunky and mm. I get my face and broke out my neck. I got bumps. I had a big old mole and I just was going through this thing. Like yeah. my body was trying to bounce back and I just didn't feel pretty. Yeah. And you know, just sending flowers and just the random, you look good. Don't trip. You'll be back. Mm. Like those are the type of things that matter. And staying home because a lot of dudes will get out. They want to go. They don't want to do all the work. They don't want to help and all that other stuff. Like stay home and act like you want to be there. Like don't act like I don't matter no more, like, yeah. or she don't matter no more, like, be in tune with your woman and support them through that. Because, you know, we just carry the whole, we risk our life, first of all. Yeah. Everything inside of us moves around. Your organs is getting pushed. This baby is sitting on my bladder. My bladder is not the same to this day. To this day! To this day, my, my bladder. I would get up and run right now. I got to use the bathroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just feel like just appreciate Number her. one or number two? Don't start with me. I'm not going there with you. Because it's not their business. Because why do you feel like you want to know when your woman goes to the bathroom is you about to do a number one or a number two? Man, listen. First off, with me, uh, with me and mine, she already know. It ain't no privacy, baby. I, look. And she's so silly. She probably tell you what like, she about to go do. That's cool. And I'm in there with her. We in there <laughs> together. Like, that's our thing. I know this is TMI, but, bro, <laughs> like, that's my dog. Like, her, her, her. We, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> 
we got this saying where like we two retired thoughts that, that came together. We see both of our uh, jerseys in the rafters. Oh, that's how y'all get. That's how y'all get know, along. Hers got more dust on it than me, but you feel me? Like mine recently just went up there. You feel me? But, okay, okay. But so y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all jerseys up there. Y'all, y'all hung it up. We had our day now. Okay. I like talking. You feel me? Like I'm. We in tune. Okay, like, that's good. But I'm so I'm like so in tune that like it's nothing that we can't talk about. I think that's what's most important because. You know, Mike Epps got a saying where it's like, he's like, man, that don't act like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, around, right. yeah when you, like, but that's my partner. So you act she like go that. out with me. You know what I'm saying? She know my type. I know her type. Not like that. But it's like, oh, that used to be a bug back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's just our, that's our banter between each other. You so that's y'all glue. That's it, mm -hmm. Bruh, it's, it's no, no hiding nothing. Yeah. You know, I don't go through phones. I don't, I don't do that. But the thing for me is I know my partner so much that I have to know triggers that uh -uh, she ain't right. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I say something and then she like, she The way get, she responds. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's all you need to know. Yeah. Because you don't even have to go through a phone when you know that. Yeah. See, I go, I'm going to go through the phone after that change. Oh, you moving weird. Uh -uh. Oh, you ain't respond like you supposed to. I just said a joke and you said, huh? Oh, that wasn't funny today. See, that's black woman. Who the right funny now. today? Who funny? You giggling at somebody. Somebody making you laugh. Uh. Oh, I'm now sorry. the detective. She leaning up, y'all. <laughs> the detective. I'm coming out. Hello? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you want to play with me? Bet. Now, I'm about to figure out who it is. Mm. But it ain't, you know, it may be a little day, you feel me? It could be a day. You know, I ain't really had too many issues with them. Not too many. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, you know, we had them little, all right, now I figured it out. Okay, I, now let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. What? I ain't the one. So, so help me understand, being in, obviously in this industry, mm -hmm. you don't have to look far to find temptation. You don't. It's right on it's right on your timeline. You know what I'm saying? It's right on your Twitter so, page and your DM. <laughs> right. With dating with dating a public figure, mm -hmm. right? My it's really a two part question. How long are you giving your partner time to flush out, let's say, bad habits? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I love talking to people and they always hit me with, oh, I want this, I want loyalty, I want monogamous, I want this, that, and the third, but you don't get that. Day no. one. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You like, how long is a respectful, a, res, a, a respectable time to be able to go through that whole process and win in, especially in your industry? You know what? I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. I think it's just when you tire. I think when when I got tired when I when I get tired, it's just I don't want to do it no more. Mm. So, because I, I can't put a time on it because everybody's different. Everybody's tolerance is different, right. you know, as women. You know, some people's not in the position that I'm in. Some people are in a higher position than I'm in. So they look at it different, like, you got three months to get it together. Me, I'm just like, until I feel like now you playing with me, mm. then I'm done. Another cultural advice for people who don't know, anytime a black woman hit that neck, like... And she side eye, and her eyes go from right here to like right there, and she like like for real. That don't with that species. <laughs> like you may want to go find something to do. Yeah, go find somebody else to play yeah, with. Yeah, I swear to that ain't me. So, so listen, let's go into this game. Okay. And we you know you get your acting on, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. To see how good you is with this, right? Oh my God! Please don't, cause I'm good. I'm not good at names. But no, it ain't. It's games. Okay. You know, okay. no, you like I'm playing a games. You know, okay. but it's 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 cooperative. So we're gonna tell a story. We got two minutes to tell a story, right? It's an add-on. So it, the name of the game is you ain't gonna believe this. Okay. So I'm gonna start it. But then you're gonna add on to it, and then I'm gonna add on to it, and then I'm add on. We just gonna keep like. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so check this out, man. You ain't gonna believe this. So tell what? me why, man. We went out last night, and this Tabitha gets on top of the booth after she drunk my rose, sits down, and why the f she got blood all on the inside of her pants. <laughs> Listen, Tabitha tripping, y'all. No, listen, Cash, look. When she get up, 
Like, it's blood everywhere. And she done turned this one. And she drinking all the drink. Like. So then the, the waitress come and I looked at her like, is you gone? Because you keep drinking everything, you feel me? But now I'm tripping because we got two issues. We got a whale because she drinking up all the water and all the, you know what I'm saying, the holy water. But then on the seat, it's another issue. So I'm like, yo, which one we going to attack first? Hmm. So basically, I'm not about to be here in this ghetto because it's people in here and they see me over here with her. It's blood on the seat. I'm about to go. Mm. But it's my section, but I had to walk through it. Like, you know, I'm with cash and you know what I'm saying? We got a little walk through coin you did, so I can't leave. Mm -hmm. So I'm like stuck in the middle of between a rock and a stank place. Mm -hmm. But I got my back in, so I was good. So I'm like, at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, and throughout that, I'm out this. So, but Tabitha, being Tabitha, she gonna be extra. Like, you know, nah, that ain't me. She was drunk when we came into the club, and now... She too up. Mm. And it's embarrassing. It's not even cute at this point. But you know what? It's kind of funny, so I'm gonna put my phone on the recorder because I'm about to put her on Instagram. Then, look, so we tripping because, like, yo, Tab, like, get yourself together, girl. And then, boom, I got a little quick performance, you know what I'm saying? I'm on stage, you feel me? And then... I'm about to go up here and I'm bringing her up here because shit, you want to put on the show? I'm about to let you put on the show for me back in free. <laughs> so tell me while we on the stage and then down her dress, we start seeing the red stuff. And I'm like, nah, this is embarrassing. You might need to go on ahead and get up out of here because this is not a good look. How do we tell Tabitha to get out of here? I'm like, you know what, Tab? You know I love you, right? But you too f***ed up. It's blood coming down your leg. It's blood on the leaves. <laughs> Now, if that happened right there, Tabitha, you need your ass whooped. Why her name Tabitha? Yeah, just, that's that Detroit. <laughs> There's some Tabithas in Detroit. I know that for sure. But even then, look, look, you being from Detroit, did that have any type of more passion towards your affiliation with the BMF? Yeah, it was. Because when I first heard that they were about to do a BMF story, I'm like, I need to do this. I need to be a part of this because I heard about it all the time. You know, mm. of course, I was young. Right. BMF was a thing, but I'm like, man, I want to be in it somehow, some way. Right. I need to be one of them chicks from Detroit. Yeah. That's what I said before they even did the casting. Right. So you seen it happen. You seen the Tyrese. You seen Ludacris. Um, like, musical artists who really, you know, are able to evolve into something, I wouldn't say bigger, but, you know, take their talents on a different type of wavelength, right? Yeah. You've been able to do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did it even, how did that opportunity even come about? Crazy, right? I was in LA and um, my management called me and said, you know, BMF, they doing the film, they doing the um, the casting for, you know, the season. They about to do it like a whole, like a whole season or whatever. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, it's here. I'm like, bet, what I gotta do? They're like, you gotta send in the tape. So I'm like, all right, I never done this before. This mm. is when it's COVID, right? right? So you can't go in and audition. Now you have to audition in front of a camera. Everything's virtual. Everything was virtual at the mm -hmm. time. So I'm like, bet. So, all right, this is weird. Because mm -hmm. now I'm just talking to a camera and nobody's in here. But I'm about to figure it out because right. I want it. So I do it. I send in a tape for Kato. Remember Kato that was dating B. Mickey at first? I sent in the tape for her. Okay. And, um... They sent it back and said, nah, they want you to do this one. Mm. They're like, we like you, but I think this one is better. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So I'm reading Monique. I'm reading Monique. I read it. And I'm like, I like Monique. Yeah. Monique a little this player. Me. Nah, this a little me. This I ain't going to lie to you. You got some connectivity. <laughs> yes. Monique is something else. And she was a boss. She was a paralegal. Because mm -hmm. her story didn't really get exposed like that during the show. But she was a paralegal, she had a child, and she had she was dating Meech mm -hmm. and Lamar, which is rivals, and they both was in love with her. So I'm like, I love it here. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool, let me try Monique. So I, I sent in a tape for Monique, and 50 Cent called me on my phone on my dad's birthday. So my dad's birthday is November the 4th. Mm. He died on my first birthday, right? So on his birthday, I'd be a little, hmm. So 50 called me on that day. He don't know what's going on. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, so right. 50 Cent called me that day. Like, yeah, I had to call you myself and let you know you got the role. 
and I'm just excited. I'm on the phone, I cried. First I cried, and then I said, shut the f up, 50. I never met 50 before mm -hmm. this. <laughs> so I'm just talking to him like we best friends. Right. Shut the f up, 50, you know I'm about to f it up, right? <laughs> he laughing like, yeah, you better f it up, because yes. I believe in you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, Because he was a rapper that turned Correct. to it, you know? So um, I was just excited, and it was like, man, I felt like that was like a start mm. of something great. So with you tapping into that character, did you have to go and, and find out uh, really about her? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did. did you, um, like, what was the process about, like, the process in finding more about, about her than I, the surface? I, I um, met her daughter. Mm. You know, her daughter, which is Zoe. Okay. Um, I met her, and we've been talking about it, and she just told me about her mom and just was telling me the real story yeah. and everything. And I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, I'm glad they picked you because it's perfect. Mm. You know? So I'm like, all right, bet. So I went dig. I, I dug deep. They sent me pictures of her. They were just telling me the things that she will tell them and all this stuff. And I'm like, all right, this dope, because she really died in real life. Yeah. You know? So, um... That's why I ended up dying in the second season because right. she really passed before he went to Atlanta. And um, so I knew I was going to pass. Right. And Well, Monique. And um, so I just got digging deep and read the whole script and just tried to figure out her attitude. And she was from Detroit, so it wasn't too hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just got in it. But how much of, of acting? And I, I, I know, but you don't know because every project is different. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't acted before, but you hear people say, like, the director wanted everything to be what was on the paper. You know what I'm saying? With working with, you know, 50 and that whole BMF project, was it by the book or you had to ad lib and bring out your own different? Well, since it was a period and what what that mean is. Since it was an 80s period, mm -hmm. that's what they call like um, you know shows when they have to look identical to a time. Okay. That was hard. So I had to wear 80s wigs, mm. <laughs> honey. <laughs> 80s makeup. 80s. I couldn't have my nails done for four months. I used to have to just wear nail polish, red nail polish. Um, no makeup on screen. It was just like. Ugh. The outfits, I was like, okay, eighties now. But did it did that it inspire make you feel like real it, life though? Mm -hmm. It make you feel like the eighties, even though like I went around in the eighties, but it just make you feel like it make you get into the vibe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, that was cool. But as far as the script, um, they let you like since I was from Detroit, they'll let me say a little different Detroit slang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like instead of some stuff. But I went around in the eighties, so. I didn't know what they were really saying. So it'd be like, all right, well, just say what up, though. Or, you know, they'll say it a little crazy. But right. they were all right with me. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing. Yeah. 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 So even, even to that, I, I, I'm hearing a self-taught person with yeah. music as well as, obviously, did you go to school for acting or any type of acting? So what I did was um, I went to California one time and I went to Tasha Smith. Okay. Acting Tasha, class. Tasha once. Good people. Yeah, that's like my big sis. I yeah. love her to death. So I went to her acting class once. Okay. And I cause I wanted to see like what it was like. This is when I was first trying to get into like the real world. So I wanted to see and I learned a lot there. You know, I was it was like an hour and thirty minutes, but I've never been back. Um I I was moving around too much to be able to do that. Cause yeah. you know, rapping consumes a lot of uh, your time. Yeah. It's just limited. So um I went there and I met her, and everybody always say we look alike. So, I do. I yeah. So that. I was like, you know, I can't wait to meet. It's not her. a bad thing. No, she's beautiful. Um, so I met her, man. We connected, and it was just it was cool since then. It was crazy because the first episode she directed. Mm. So, what would you prefer? Both is not an answer. Musical. <laughs> Both route. is an answer. Yeah, Both but is definitely an answer. but knowing the trajectory of your life, right? Will we focus on let's say both is an answer, but for the sake of the question? Okay, okay. You just want me to pick one? You got to. I like have to. Like, do you want to go on tour or the actors' role, actresses? Oh role? my god! 
No, don't say tour. If you say, I have to go do shows all over the place, then I'm picking acting. Because it's no stability there. Mm. It's stability what in you mean? acting. Because like when you rap in and you put out music and this person wanna book you, this person wanna book you, this person wanna book you, this person wanna book you. I find myself in Houston, Friday, Saturday in New York, Sunday in California, mm. Monday all the way in Miami, and then Tuesday back at home in Detroit. Tired, mm. <laughs> wear and tear on your body. Yeah. So that's the part that I don't like about rapping, right? And it's like the trendy. Oh, this trend right now, this person is popping, so everybody following this wave, and I don't follow waves. Mm. So I just make music as I feel, not what's out right now. Say that. You know what I'm saying? So that's a hard part, you know what I'm saying, in the comparison. So that's what rapping, but I do have a great passion for rapping. You know what I'm saying? Where did this come from, though? Just since I was a kid, man. I used to be rapping and in school, I used to just be on the beat. Just, I just, I don't know, I used to be, I know how to dance. Mm. I just do stuff. I'm just one of them people that like entertainment, mm. you know? So I'm really an entertainer. So how do, this is what I don't know. Getting, getting out of the shell of the creativity to, like, how do you create music? You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, where, like, where do you go? Is it life experiences? Is it, is it aspirations? Is it mm. like, you know? It depends on where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So like when I just made Back on Dexter, mm -hmm. right? That was a tape I made right after I had my child. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first project I put together. It wasn't right after. It was like six months after. Um, I started it. And um, I, I got the, um, the urge to get back in this one bag of like talking. Yeah. Like I wanted to remind who I am. Okay. And that's the bag I hopped in. And it was like, it was just all smoke. Mm. And I was talking, and I like motivational music, because that's why I used to love listening to Jeezy. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like music that made me want to get some money. Yeah. So I make music for me and women like me. Right. And people that understand me. You know what I'm saying? So I just got back in that bag of talking about getting money and, you know what I'm saying, stunting and, yeah, like that. Man, I'm going to tell you this. Because that's my roots. True story. I'm in Atlanta, and... At the, at the time, you know, having a Lamborghini Urus was like, it was the car. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a Urus when you had to buy the Urus, not Lisa Urus. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I seen a chick pull up alongside of me in the same car. At that point, I then knew I cannot drive this car no longer. No more. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that I felt a certain type of way. I felt like, damn. What the hell does she do? What's she do? You know what I'm saying? And for a woman to, to make that type of money like that, it didn't matter. Like, it was empowering to me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I drive old schools now, you know? Yeah. Like, and that's what Tracy does. That just, he like... He love old schools. He got, like, five. Yeah. Yeah, he love old schools. But when I seen the old girl pull up on me, like... <laughs> I said... Huh? Oh yeah, women Man, I out here. I got concussions. I got ankle messed up, knee cracking still, back sore. Man, what the hell does she do? You feel me? Probably selling hair. Probably rapping. Mm. Probably, um, you know, these girls out here nowadays. I respect the ones that's really making their own money. Mm -hmm. I don't respect the the ones that that use their private part to make it. Okay. But the music that, ain't that, what I talk about. that women make in the genre of rap, it's a lot of provocative, boom. It's a way to do it, man. I, okay, that tell ain't me how to do it. Well, not, don't tell me how to do it, just. That ain't the type of music I make. I want to motivate you to get your own money. Because mm -hmm. ain't nothing like your own. Because once, and I've been through this before where I was in a relationship, though, I didn't to get it. And if somebody buy you something and they want it back. Mm. That don't make that don't make sense. Right. Make your own money. You want to have your own money when it's all said and done. Right. Even if you have a real relationship and your man take care of you, that's a beautiful thing. I love that. Mm -hmm. Now I respect that. 
But when you multiple dudes to try to catch up with the next, it's like you missing out on the time you spending doing that on really building your own. Yeah. So that's what I be saying by that. And that's what I talk about. I talk about getting some money. I don't think that's probably why my music not word. It should be because I'm not telling you to go for a bag. I'm telling you, go make your own money. Please. <laughs> Please. It's a lot of money out here. It's a lot of money out here. And, and, and to be sitting around waiting on a dude to treat you any kind of way. Because when they do do for you, they treat you any kind of way. Mm. When you ain't have nothing going for yourself. Now, if you're a valuable woman and have something going for yourself, you don't mind. It, it's, it's, it's a privilege. You know, it's... it's it's honoring, like, you know? Yeah. I just think that these days, everybody is trying to keep up with what they see on social media, so they doing whatever they gotta do to get the things that the people that work hard for have. Right. Like, say, for instance, that Lamborghini. Now, what if you found out she got it by seven different... It's gonna throw her pH off. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, that... damn, I'm out here really going hard. Yeah. I wouldn't advise that, but I look, I got daughters, right? And you got to bring something to the table. You got to. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not no, I'm not an opponent of a person who's just, and that's with friends too. Like, homeboy, partner, like, baby, look, hey, what are you, how are you making me better? How? Because if you ain't doing that, you're, you're replaceable. Yeah, and you're draining me. Yes. Because guess what? I'm watering you. Mm. Because I know I'm a person that's watering you. And I had to look at, I just had to recently look at my, my friend's group. Okay. Every time I talk to you, you're draining me. Mm. What are you bringing to the table? You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't look at people for what could you do for me. But after a while, that becomes a thing. Especially when you're draining me. That's a fact. Because now I'm noticing... I'm not getting watered at all from here. Okay, I could, if I cut this off, I will be better. It's a desert. Yes, it's a desert here. <sighs> Ice me out. Yeah. You feel me? But look, look, real, real, real spill, right? Do you, do you have uh, anyone in your social group who, are, who is in a relationship? Yes. My best friend has been in a relationship with her boyfriend over 10 years, as I can remember. Okay. Mm-hmm. My issue is this, a lot of people, men and female, want situations that they don't have good examples of. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You want to be married, but nobody around you is married. You want to be in a relationship, but nobody around you is in a relationship or in a healthy relationship. So when you go out with these people, Correct. what are you doing? And I had to tell Tracy that mm. at the beginning. I just, everybody around you just off. Yeah. Birds of a feather. Flock together, and you think I'm supposed to believe that you're the only faithful one? Yeah. My, figure it out. Hurry up, because you got... Figure it out, because I'm... Um, you running out of time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Because <laughs> like, I had to. Real, like, real... And... And you the one out the group. Yeah. So they using you. Yeah. For, be, for access. Mm -mm. For access. You better figure it out. It's a situation that happened where it's like, yo... How do I go about doing this or going about doing this, right? And, you know, Jazz was going through it, and it will remain anonymous, but I'm saying, like, you're getting advice from people who can't cope with that that you're trying to get advice from. You know what That's I'm saying? That's not even, they don't even know about it. How are they giving you advice? They know they about it experience? by you. They right. haven't experienced yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, I, there's a saying that says, good advice saves lives, bad advice kills. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're the only person in a, in a relationship and you go going to Tabitha and you're saying, and Tabitha ain't never had a dude, a, 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 a sustainable situation, and you're asking her, girl, so-and-so done did this, girl. Hell yeah, get rid of his... Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Like that energy, like even in a relationship, like my issue in, in, in relationships these days is tell me what you're willing to fight for. Right. You know what I'm saying? And not, there, there, there's that's what a, a relationship is for. There's a, there's a, a difference between getting walked over and, and, and stumped over, but like it's too many, like you gave up too quick. Oh, that was my problem before Tracy. That was my problem. Uh. That was my problem. I will leave you. At 2.5. What? Yes. Zero to one. That's why I just now had a child. Mm. I cannot, you what? Uh-uh. 
you know? And then I had to be realistic, right? Right. And just think about, even just deep, deep into myself, like, be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Would you do that? Do you just expect yourself to just do this as soon as you meet somebody? Mm -hmm. Nah. That's why the question was asked, like, how long are you willing to give your partner? Because mm -hmm. there's a time that, that really... And I think my problem was I always been single. So I, off rip, if we say we together, I give you me. Mm -hmm. It didn't take me time to get people away mm. because I'd be single. Right. I cut people off <laughs> for real. Right. So I think that was my issue. So when I finally sat down and said, okay, and then when the, I found out I was pregnant, I said, okay, now nah, I got to be realistic here. Right. This is my son's father. Do you really think that this person just snap of a finger change? Mm. No. Are you stupid? No. Now, after a while, if the cycle repeats itself, mm -hmm. are you stupid? Yes. Mm. <laughs> They're showing you who they are. Right. This is something they don't want to get rid of. But you... I don't want to stay on this too long. But people got a very preferential bag that they want to pick up. Like, if you could pick up my Louis bag, you got to also pick up my trash bag. Like, meaning, you look at my closet, you're going to find some demons. If you look in the front part of my closet, you're going to see all the bells and whistles, the Hermes, and Louis, all like stuff. all that. But look in the back of it, mm -hmm. you know. And I think a lot of women get into this, this war of, oh, he for everybody, girl. Oh, like, I got a song called, he for everybody. He but don't judge a, the tree's branches. Get to the root of the tree. Yeah. You don't know if that person is fighting personal demons. You don't know if that person has, you know, Broken. issues with their mom. You don't have. You don't know if that person is fighting just acceptance. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's a real thing. So if you're willing to take that journey with that person, you feel me? I think it'd be. It's all worth it. I think the thing with women is you'd be kind of nervous, right? But once you're in tune with God. Mm. You know that he used you. People can't use you. He used you. Right. When you're used by God, you're not being used by Talk nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think the thing with women is I'm about to go through all this with this man and he end up being with somebody else. And I teach him how to treat people and I teach him this and I put him on or I do this. And he end up just leaving me and be with somebody else. God got you. Yeah. So just let go and just love these days if you really find love because that's hard to find. It is. It's not that real stuff not out here no more. Everybody dating for something. Mm. And nobody just dating to love and, 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 and share this feeling with right. each other no more. Like, it's not there. So that's why when I, and I seen a potential in him, I just was like, I'm going to weigh it out. Yeah. I'm going to give it, you know, I'm going to give it that. And this is my child's father. He deserved that. Yeah. Let me just see, I you know, and... Through time, he has progress. Have it been perfect? No. Have it ever hit the internet? No. And I appreciate that. But at the beginning, at the first month or two we was dating, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. I expected that. But I was realistic after I talked to my best friend that has been in a relationship right. for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? She put me up on game like, it's not going to be perfect. But if you in for a ride, a relationship is that, you I know? Swear. So I'm like, okay, cool. And now we, we smooth. And I hate speaking so fast. Because he might just piss me off when I get home. Mm -hmm. But you know <laughs> But you know what? Yeah. That's what a relationship is. It's a yeah. roller coaster. And when you're tired of the roller coaster, you just get the off. Yeah. But is it worth it? It is. It's experiences. You got to evolve as a you person. You got to. And that's how you learn things when you go through these experiences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why now I'm at a point in life, Cam, where I'm just living, man. Yeah. I'm just living and I just want to do whatever made me feel good at that moment. And as long as I'm productive... And I'm taking care of my taking care of my child. That other free time I have, I just live and I'm just being me, man. Like yeah. I ain't worried. I ain't got my guards up. I'm just free. You man, I me? seen. I heard. Um, was uh, I think it was Floyd who said it. Like, you got to be selfish for you, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're not selfish or you're not gonna fight for what makes you happy, who do you expect to? <laughs> you know, they saying? doing it for themselves. Because look, man. Well, I, I, had, I be having to check myself sometimes, especially, you know, with me having my children and my family. 
And before I even go into the house, like I may have a moment where, man, I just may smoke a cigar in the car or just walk because Sovereign Dior, she don't deserve that. What I'm bringing from the world into my house, mm -hmm. she just, daddy, you know what I mean? And that changed your whole it, it, it does, but that don't fix the, the problem. The problem yeah. So if I focus on me, so I can give Sovereign, Shakira, Jaden, uh, Caesar, Chosen, Comitis, Cashmere. Like, if I give all of them the best version of me, it first starts with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's very important. And it's all and it's protecting your peace. Of course. What makes you happy? Of what don't? And getting rid of it. And, and don't feel bad to just cut a person off. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, and let God. You gotta let people go and let God figure it out. Like, if it's worth it, it'll come back. If yeah. not, I ain't doing it because sometimes we hold on to things. That's that loyalty. Mm. That's that um, that good heart, you know, like trying to hold on to things, trying to help people. That's not helping you. Right. So let it go. Yeah. Two things before we get out of here. Okay. Right. No. Uh, uh huh. None. She from Detroit, y'all. She be having these outbursts, and it just be like. Don't blame it on Detroit. Right. Detroit is it. Let me tell you something. We on the rise right now. Yeah, Let me tell you pop. something. Mm -hmm. pop. We popping. Y'all popping for sure. Y'all know some good people <laughs> from Detroit. You yeah. Feel me? Um, but giving back to the community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big on that. Big. Right? Yeah, it, I love that. Take love me, that. take me through some of the projects or the things that you've done and that you're doing right now. Well, okay. So right now, um, I'm giving away like a whole prom makeover mm. for some girls in Detroit. Um, providing everything for the prom to give away. Cause well, I remember when I was younger, I wanted to. You know, my mom did everything she could, right. you know what I'm saying? But it was like certain stuff I wanted that we, she had six of us, you know mm. what I mean? So I just remember that. So I always go back mm -hmm. and be like, all right, I'm going to make sure that these girls get exactly what they want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they got good grades and they did what they're supposed to do because it's hard coming out of high school. Right. You ain't pregnant. They, they got there. That is something I'm doing right now um, for prom season. Ooh, I've done so much. Um, okay, so I have, I gave back a lot of like pampers and, um, you know, milk and like, well, went to go talk about breastfeeding and stuff for girls with, you know, that just had kids, yeah. you know, postpartum depression. I've done that. Um, I've done a lot as far as giving back. I give back. I just gave, I was in a Prada store the other day. These are things that I don't talk about or record, but I was just in a Prada store like three days ago and seeing a little boy in there and I seen his mom and dad come in there, right? Mm -hmm. And they had on um, work clothes. Like he, the dad looked like he was probably working construction and the mom mm -hmm. looked like a, a, a medical assistant or right. something. And it just reminded me of me. And they did not want to buy them shoes for uh. that boy. They did not ask Tracy. I went over there, I'm like, Tracy, I want you to buy them for them. Mm -hmm. Cause I know they don't want to, but they want to cause they got it. But yeah. I think that's probably what all they got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just bought them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just yeah, in the airport up, and lady was crying probably like three weeks ago. And it's like stuff I don't even tell my assistant. Like yeah. I just do it and I just feel good out there. Just how it made me feel afterwards. Absolutely. And she just didn't have the 250 or something so she can get to where she trying to go. And she was just crying. I was like, well, I pay for it for it. And it's like the look on these people's faces to just change their life just like like that yeah. just mean everything. So for sure, for sure. outside of the stuff that's documented, because it's more that's documented too, I do stuff all the time. Yeah. And I just I like that. Don't want to be it goes further with that than showing everything. Yeah, like even one time, like even just <laughs> recently, a lady came over to give my Instacart and she was pregnant. And I'm like, she working pregnant. Mm. And I just gave her $500. Like, just put that in your pocket. You know, you working. Get you. Like, I just be having to. And I think it be God, because I just get this feeling like, let me go grab this. Let me do this. Hell. Let me do that. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, I like that. Yeah. Man, before we get out of here, man, tell us about the projects that you got coming up. Well, <laughs> thought you never asked. <laughs> oh, well, the project's coming up. I got my album coming out. I have a single coming out um, June 9th. Okay. Whew, if it don't work, don't be mad at me, y'all. But it's coming in June. Um, I'm filming a movie. Right. It's going to be big. So basically, you booked and busy. 
That's what you're trying to say. I'm getting this money on. As you should. <laughs> money on. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> so listen, man, Cash, appreciate you for blessing us with your presence here. For sure. It's Funky Friday. And as we Funky end things Friday. here, we're going to start in unison. We're going to start with this camera right here. Then we're going to go to this camera right here. Then we're going to mm -hmm. finish with that camera right there. You dig? All right. Here then. we go. One finger. One pinky. One thumb. One love. Okay. Did I do oh, right? no, no, no. Hold on. No. <laughs> that See, was all them drinks. Why you give me all them drinks? No, I did. Listen, I was just trying to be a great host. Now, we're going to do it one more time because, listen, that Detroit education has just <laughs> introduced himself. <laughs> all right. Here okay. we go. We're going to try this one, one, one more time. time. All right. Let's, okay. Let me scoot this over here a little bit. Out your reach. Let's just take one more before we All right. Listen. Here we go. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You okay, already okay, okay. on the bear. Okay. And let's bring this car back on to me. Here we go. One finger. One pinky. Great job. We almost there. Almost there. One thumb. No. That. And together we're gonna say, one love. One, one love. We gonna pray for you. One love. You dig? We out. Lord Jesus. Hey, that almond milk. Hurry up, please. <laughs> Cash, appreciate you, dog. No, I appreciate you. I have fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I'm buzzing. Two drinks. That's all I need. That's sad. I have to be. Now that, now that, now that, now we about to really talk. Which, man, that's yeah. sad. <laughs>